Before arriving in Scotland, we were both looking forward to experiencing this country and all it had to offer. What caught us off guard was how moody and magical it would be in person. We had no idea how Scotland would capture our hearts and souls with its mystical charm. It is an indescribable feeling being in the presence of such beauty and magnificence. You begin to understand how books and stories are inspired by these surroundings. During this episode of our Scotland series, we get to visit a few of the locations that were integral in the making of Harry Potter movies. Dumbledore's grave was one of our destinations on this particular outing. Also known as the island of Eileen Nemoin, located on the beautiful Loch Eilt. This is one of the tougher locations to find and during the winter seemingly impossible to get close to. Thankfully, it was the perfect day to film from above. Not too far away from there is the Glenfinnan Viaduct, one of the most recognizable sites for Harry Potter aficionados. Known for being the bridge that the Hogwarts steam train engine travels across to take the students to and from Hogwarts Castle. This iconic location is nestled in the Scottish Highlands. With a babbling brook running beneath and mountainous surroundings, you can see why this was chosen as one of the many filming locations. We did not see the train the day we were there as it only runs from March to October. Just up the hill from the viaduct is the St. Mary and St. Finnan Church. This is a Gothic style Catholic church built in 1872 with stunning stained glass windows. While the church itself is not a filming location for the Harry Potter movies, the body of water behind it is. Loch Shale is also known as the Black Lake in the films. A few days later, while in Edinburgh, we visited many filming locations and experienced the city from what felt like the eyes of J.K. Rowling. Greyfriars Kirkyard was a place where she was able to glean names from certain gravestones, one being Tom Riddle's grave, the wizard that eventually became the infamous Voldemort. So it's really rainy out right now. Um, we're in Edinburgh at the Greyfriar Cemetery. We've been looking for, for all you Harry Potter fans out there, Tom Riddle's grave is right over here. It is said you can find up to eight graves with names correlated to characters from the Harry Potter books, including the Potter family. Victoria Street was the inspiration for Diagon Alley, the famous street that the young wizards would visit prior to heading to Hogwarts to start their school year. As you walk along, you can easily imagine seeing Ollivander's wand shop, Gringotts, or stopping into the Leaky Cauldron for a butterbeer. The Elephant House was a common haunt for J.K. Rowling after moving to Edinburgh in 1993. Although not the only coffee house she was known to frequent while writing the books, it is the most well known. It is often said to be the birthplace of Harry Potter. Rowling was said to have written large sections of the books while sitting in this coffee house. Unfortunately, we were unable to enter the famous coffee shop as it has been closed due to a fire in 2021.
For now, that's where we had to leave the filming locations of Harry Potter. But plans are already underway for us to return to Scotland and visit more filming locations and other enchanting sites. In the meantime, join us in part four of this Scotland tour when we visit four castles and the last Outlander filming destination during this trip. See you next time.